Corruption is not something that we can possibly support. Corruption is always a bad thing. But we have to be, we have to understand that there are many drivers of corruption in, in developing countries and we can't target all of it at the same time. So we have to be selective, we have to prioritize. And this pragmatic approach to building the institutions which reduce the damaging effects of societies in which a lot of informality exists is the agenda. So my talk today was on the political economy of corruption and why after big anti-corruption movements, developing countries find it so difficult to reduce corruption. And the point is, you know, we all agree that in the long run there is a relationship between development and corruption. More developed countries are less corrupt and less developed countries are more corrupt. We don't know the process of transition too well. Um, and one thing that is very clear is that the problem is that there are many types of corruption. There are some types of corruption which are absolutely integrated with the reproduction of these societies because these are largely informal societies. The political structure often requires a lot of informal allocation of resources to political organizations, organizers, to actually construct the political order on which stability is based. You can't get rid of this in the short run because to, to, in the long run what happens is that a lot of this becomes formalized in legal transfers of tax resources to constituencies and then political uh, corruption comes down. But this is a long run process. The other real problem is that there's a lot of um, state interventions which are extremely important and powerful people distort the operation of these um, activities. And